Welcome to the next episode of Master Investor Show. If you're here for the first time, thank you for taking your time to listen to some financial education and as well as a little bit of mindset, uh, self-improvement and, you know, just some knowledge about business uh, and money. Um, For those who are here, not for the first time, but been here several times, uh, thank you and please share uh, with your friends and family and your partners and whoever you may think this information could help them. Um, When you help other people, your life become better automatically, so it's always good to be considerate to others and become more generous. That's one of the topics we can start right there, a master investor always, always, always practice generosity. Generosity is what makes the ultra rich richer, um, is learning how to serve more people. You know, if you can serve a billion people, then you're going to, if you, you know, if you make a profit dollar, you're going to make a billion dollars, you see? So, um, it all depends of, you know, how many people you can serve. And this whole podcast is, um, is around the topic of money because um, because I, I I have been broke in my life and it's not a good spot to be on. So I want to share information that helped me out of my situation um, and you know and, and so that somebody else can get inspired. And if you're already making money, then you can also get inspired by the knowledge that I give you because it's useful. It doesn't matter. It's it's, it's whether you're rich or whether you're broke today. Um, really, it starts with your mindset, and, um, and, and, and it ends with your mindset. So, um, it's true. Think and grow rich. Uh, that's very true. You know, you you can really think your way to riches. And um, and it starts with a thought. It starts with your attitude. It starts with it starts with uh, with your financial education. Getting more knowledge about money and business language. Uh, remember that every profession has its own language so you have to learn how to speak the business language and understand things that we already talked about on the previous podcast such as cash flow you know product financial statements assets liabilities income column expenses we talked about taxes a little bit um and you know in in this whole episode is is really to wake you up and wake anybody that is uh, in, in search for more answers and maybe uh, need some guidance and it's free. So um, I understand, you know, uh, there are a lot of things out there that we can be watching, but when it comes down to improving yourself, it takes somebody that is disciplined. And if you're here, then I, I plot to you because it's, um, it's, it's, a, it's a great thing that you are doing that. That means that you're gonna go places, you know. While all the people, while all the people are doing something else that is not beneficial to them because it's more fun, you are doubling down on your education. And maybe this is fun to you. I, I mean, I find financial education very fun because I know that if I improve my financial education and IQ, then I can, um, you know, become more free and have more freedom, because money ultimately gives you freedom, and that's why, um, you know. I understand being broke because it ties you down. You can't go very far without money. So regardless, you know, whether money makes us happy or not, that is not the issue. The fact is that we can't really survive without money. And, and you know, and I hate the, the, the saying that, you know, money is the root of, of all evil because that is not true. The lack of money is the root of evil. Write that down. The lack of money is the root of, of evil. You know, so because if you start thinking money is right there with oxygen, you know, you can't live without it. If you, you can't, you can't, you can't really survive. You can't really travel without money. You're going to need money. So you're going to have to have money. So in order to do that, and you're going to have to start building what we call in the early episodes, your asset column. And your asset column, uh, 
you know, you have a variety of different investments and assets that are producing money, regardless whether you're there or no. That's the whole purpose of becoming an investor. If you don't want to build a business, then you need to become an investor. Um, and, and you can do that uh, by making your money work hard for you. And you find people like um, that, that are investing actively and you just partner up with those people and they do all the groundwork for you. And your money just gets a return on investment. So you can actually become a passive investor today, legally. Um, I will give some resources later on. I'm going to start giving you free um, summary about, you know, the uh, podcast or maybe not the summary, but maybe something else I can, I can add to because I don't think I need to summarize. So you can always come back and listen to the podcast again because it's going to be on my channel. And, um, and you can also, you know... Once I have the uh, PDF that I would like to give at the end of each episode, or, uh, then I will send you, you know, to a to a website where you can uh, obtain that information. Follow me on Instagram. My my username is Master Investor. The whole purpose of everything that I'm doing today is to create the, um, you know, I wanna I wanna um, I wanna provide financial education back because I know it's very important and it's in high demand. And I want to talk about sales because if you're broke, it's because you're not selling anything. And if you find yourself in a tight spot today, it's because you need to sell more and have different types, uh, different streams of income. And I call those freedom units because, um, you know, they give you freedom ultimately. And that's why we become investors. That's why I want you to become a master investor. And let me clarify this. A master investor doesn't mean that you are know-it-all. It actually means the very opposite. It means that you're committed to be a student of financial education for life because it evolves. Money evolves like anything else. So the laws, everything changes as we move forward. So you need to be just married to the financial education. And that's what I want to provide. I want to provide an updated financial education um, um, resources where people can go and obtain um, the latest financial education uh, data so that can so that you can leverage your your wealth and and expand your wealth. So um, I would like to do that, and I am doing so by starting this podcast because this is not this knowledge is very essential when you're trying to do business or you are attempting to uh, you know understand how investing works. You're going to be hearing me talk about all sorts of things regarding business and money. And I will be sharing some of the projects that I'm doing today, real estate deals, also franchise deals, businesses. Um, I, I really uh, take an opportunity to, to learn as much as I can. And again, that's why this is called the Master Investor Show because you are here to you know, get committed with your financial education. And I will have different people um, providing that knowledge as well. And I will point to the right resources to you. It's not just getting it from me, but I also want you to read from other people. And I will give you a reference um, when I share the PDF at the end of each episode. Um, and I will be doing that very soon. I'm just getting my uh, phone ready so I can be able to send you to a website that has the PDF and you can download it from there after you listen to the podcast. Um, Again, my Instagram is Master Investor. Please follow me um, if you would like to, you know, maybe you miss a podcast, but I will share a quote. I will share some important information about business. You can have it there. You can use it as reference. You can always go back to it to, to reinforce your mindset. And that's the whole purpose, you know, to, to empower you financially. Um, and, you know, and so... Um, and hopefully, very soon, I will start bringing people um, that are doing big in, in real estate and as well in businesses so that, can, so that they can share their secrets and how they started, how they struggled to get maybe money or, you know, at the beginning and how they made it to become a, a, a multi-millionaire business or, you know, whatever they have accomplished. So I'm, I'm very excited about doing that. And I'm very excited to be sharing this uh, knowledge with you. And uh, it makes me happy because, like I said, you must become generous. And that's something that I want you to take from this episode, generosity. And that's what I'm going to call it. Be more generous. 
And if you can do that, you can train your mind to think of other people rather than just yourself and think of the world as an entirety, then you're going to change the world and you're going to find a, a, a problem and you're going to provide the, the right solution for that problem. Because if we look around, there are many problems in the world and, and too, many, too many complainers. So look at the problem and find the most efficient solution. And if you can do that, then you will change the world and you'll become a hero. And, you know, and that's what that's what this is for. That's what this education is here to empower you to take action, to execute, make mistakes, learn from them. And, and don't, don't be so harsh on yourself when you make mistakes, because we all make we all make them. And if you if successful people, um, you know, every time they fail, they learn from that. And then they, the second round they come, they come even more stronger. So that's that's what you want to train yourself. If you fail, you just get up again, you dust yourself off, and you continue with the path. And you learn how to navigate through those obstacles when they appear. Um, and your way, you know, and your and when they appear in your life. And sometimes life is very funny in that way, where we get something that we weren't expecting, but in reality, it's, it's a lesson that we need to learn to make us more powerful. So be more generous, think of other people, um, start thinking how you can solve a hundred people's you know, problem. Maybe find a problem in common and, and that, that they have in common and then solve that and give them a solution to them. You know, maybe 50 people, if you don't, if you can't think that big, if you can't stretch your mind that big, then you, you, you know, chunk down a little bit until you get more comfortable. But I wanna teach you to be uncomfortable and try to attack your fears and, and, you know, and make yourself uncomfortable as much as you can, because that's when you actually learn and that's when you're stretching yourself. You shouldn't just uh, always feel comfortable because then that means you're very uh, used to your environment and there's nothing really challenging you. So <clears throat> I encourage you to attack your fears. I don't want you to contract. I actually want you to be, um, be expanding at all times, even when you have um, problems and maybe you, you know, you, you, you may think, well, the right thing is to just lay back and, and, you know, and, and become constrained. I don't want you to do that. Instead, I want you to expand. I want you to grow. I want you to get out of non-existence. I want you to communicate. That's what you should do. You know, I suggest you that the second thing that I want to give you in this episode is visit a seminar or some kind of networking uh, meeting every week. Look up, you know, on Google around your area. I'm 99% sure that they have some kind of meetings where you can visit and, and work and work in meeting people like-minded. You, you'll be surprised how your life will change. So start replacing your boring times and the down times with something positive every week. That's going to help you. Number three is to, um, uh, number three is, um, number three is that you need to know you need to know um, <clears throat> that that in business, um, you got to put everything in writing, you know, so make sure that whatever business you do, make sure everything is in writing, make sure you have all your legalities in place, make sure that that if you make a deal with somebody, it's not just verbal, follow up with an email, if you talk to somebody on the phone, get their email and, and you know, and write them an email back saying, um, I'm you know, I'm following up to our recent conversation on the phone. This is what we said, and this is what we're accomplishing. So you can put it on writing. Otherwise, you will find yourself chasing a lot of bunnies and never getting anything done. You got to put it on paper. So it's not real business if you don't have it on paper. Your ideas need to be on paper as well. You need to have a little notepad on your book or whatever you, or your iPhone or your iPad next to you at all times. When you get an idea, you got to put it down. Otherwise, it will just become somebody else's vision and they will take it. Because if you don't do it, then somebody else will do it. Uh, there's a reason why those visions and those ideas are coming to you. And remember, the most powerful word that exists is the combination of I am. 
I am powerful. I am excellent. I am these affirmations work. You got to train yourself to to I am grateful for all the wealth that I have. You know, you got to start postulating and claiming uh, your future as if you already have it. So be grateful for the things that you wish to happen to you, but as if you already experienced those things. Because if you do that, that's a perfect shot. That's a perfect vision. And the universe and the law of attraction will be able to copy that exactly how it is and provide that to you. There's no error on that postulate. You are actually being very selective and that is very good. It is the way we are supposed to do it. So I am is the most powerful words you can say. I am and whatever you attach to I am will become true. So be careful going around talking negative about yourself. Make sure that everything that you say about yourself is positive and is empowering your future and is empowering you. So if you're going through something tough, then you have to train your mind to say, I am powerful. I am successful. I am and claim everything. I am thankful for this amazing group of people that that I'm working with that are super influential and well-known around the world and so forth. You, you see, you have to be thankful for the things that you don't have today. You wish to have them as if you already have them. I hope I'm being clear with that. So, you know, so you can grasp the, uh, the you know, I call it that hook for you, for your perfect vision to come into fruition. You want to be like that. You want to be a specific and you want to be thankful as if you, you got to kind of like lie to yourself into it. And you don't have to claim it to other people. If you want to, you may, and it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It will come to fruition. But, you know, when you are alone, when you are talking to yourself at nighttime, when maybe you are, you know, working out every single second when you're driving, be thinking, I am thankful for everything that you want to have in the future. I see we already have it. I'm thankful for this beautiful private jet. I'm thankful for this amazing, lucrative investments that are producing me hundreds of thousands of dollars every day. I'm thankful for producing over a million dollars in cash flow every week. See, folks, every time you say, I am, and you attach something to it, it will become a reality. Oh, you will pull it in. You will pull in the people, the circumstances, the situation, the everything, the, the, the environment. You will pull it in, and soon you'll find yourself in that, in that, in that vision. And so uh, that, that's my last, uh, I think it's number five, I am. You know, practice that every day. Say, I am powerful. I am grateful for all this health. I am grateful for all my wealth. I am grateful for all these investments. I am grateful for all this positive cash flow coming from my investments. I am grateful for attracting the best people in the world. I am grateful for my amazing team. I am grateful for having the best team members in my team, helping me become successful and more successful in helping me achieve my dreams. See, you can't do this stuff by yourself. You're going to have to get a group of people that can see your visions and you got to attract those people by postulating every day, by saying, I am grateful for whatever you want to be experiencing in your life. And that's the secret of life. And it's, it is like that. There's nothing more powerful than you thinking about something, actually saying it with your words, writing it down. That's it. If you do that, you'll find yourself pulling everything in into your life and everything magically will start appearing in your life. So start making your miracles happen for you. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. And follow me on Instagram, Master Investor. I'm giving you more financial education very soon. Um, stay tuned. And I hope... That I have provided value. If I have, then please share this with your friends, family, colleagues, associates, partners, whoever you think this information can help them. So remember, be generous and stay positive. You have a nice, nice evening. Goodbye.